evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Oscar. How are you? Fine. Doing good? Doing great. Great. Fantastic. Oh, this is this cable is all mixed up. Okay, great, fantastic. Ivan, how are you? How are you doing, guys? Malene, Melissa, how are you? <clears throat> oh, okay. Thank you. Get home well. Are you ready? This is our last class. Uh, after uh, that, what will be the next level uh, call? I uh, really don't know. You will. You might would like to ask the company, the people over there. I All really right. don't know. So, uh, if we are okay. okay no, thank you, Marlene. Thank you. I hope that seven. everything will be okay. Um, I'm sorry. Probably will be the advanced level. Yeah, it gotta be the the advanced because this is this is called uh, pre-advanced, right? Yeah. So right. level two. I think they uh, there are three levels, but I'm not sure about it. You know, I started with you guys. So, but I think there are, there might be three levels. Uh, seeing what I saw with the material that we are working on, so oh. it, it it would be. I mean, a, you mean like a, we're missing to uh to go through the uh three advanced uh two or three? Yeah, because the, there is advanced one, advanced two. Uh, you are advanced two, and there might be advanced three. Okay, pre-advanced is not really the advanced, it's pre-advanced, okay? Oh, but it cool. help, that will help you a lot anyway. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other level should be a little higher than this one. And it, in fact, it's, it's kind of higher though. So I'm just learning with the, with the, with the company as well, but uh, that might be, I will find out. All right. Okay. So we'll just start uh, in one more minute. Okay. To start uh, desenmarañando la confusión de ayer. <laughs> I got it ready. So <laughs> predicting the future. <laughs> I was doing my research and everything. I'm so sorry, Mr. Lopez, regarding to the last conversation that you had already. Uh, yes, I want to make sure about something because um, I saw that after to complete the advanced level, mm -hmm. we have the opportunity to take the, the TEFL, right? I really don't know, Giovanni, because, uh, it, you know, the TEFL, uh, doing the advanced, it, it, yeah, you can, you can take the TEFL, but uh, it's better to get, get prepared for uh, the TEFL because uh, it's not regarded, of course, you have to speak English, right? But uh, mm -hmm. there are certain conditions that you you might be uh, be trained about it, okay? I had trained uh, a couple of groups uh, um, regarding preparing for the TOEFL, and, it's, uh, and, and you cannot go just and take it. Like, your English is good, but there are certain conditions. You have you work under pressure. You have time. I mean, there are a lot of things that uh, you might the vocabulary training the vocabulary that you might find out over there because it's kind of confusing. I have uh, done training like like three groups of teenagers and take it the advance. They succeed, but uh, I was I trained them for a cup for four about four months. Mm -hmm. Oh God, yeah. I, I know. And nevertheless, uh, just for double check, when you said that you gave them the training, that was in here or in another place? No, it was in another place. It was in another oh, place okay, where okay. I, wor I was working there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was asking about it because when I was um taking the file and to to roll to the different mm -hmm. course, I remember that under the options, I'd find uh, that option that said that 
we are we can take the training for the temple yeah for top mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and that's why that was my question yes but uh you, you might uh, uh might find out with the people at, at the company uh what a, because uh, every company have their own politics about it okay so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but at uh, TOEFL needs to be trained oh, okay mm -hmm. so we train her mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thank uh, you so much. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, guys. Uh, yesterday, um, yesterday, uh, let, you know, I always evaluate myself how I did this one. So we're going to go real quickly about predicting the future. The thing is that I was focusing uh, focusing on um, on just in, uh, scientists and things, but uh, it's general. So let's find out. Okay, no more chip chip, and let's get to the point. <laughs> Okay, let me just um, share the, the thing over here and um, let me share audio. Uh, audio, 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 audio. Oh. Okay, so yesterday uh, we will do this one in a couple of minutes and uh, like most 20 minutes so uh, going uh, rechecking this one and then because we're going to go on the reading on the rest of the material that we need to call okay you know predicting the future is uh we were using the simple form of will the uh, few uh the present continuous of will and the uh, future perfect uh so let's let's listen before we go page to the... 67 exercise 10 <clears throat> grammar focus Predicting the future with will. Use will to predict future events or situations. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Use future continuous to predict ongoing actions. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Use future perfect to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness. By 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. Okay, uh, let's go with the simple, uh, the base form or the simple form of future, future events. Uh, what it says over there, Giovanni, help us really know the, 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 I'm sure, no worries. A grammar focus future events. The simple future is a verb tense that's used to talk about things that haven't happened yet, but they will happen in the future. But they will happen in the future. So that's that's the thing. So for example, uh, for example, it says this year Jane will read War and Peace. Okay. So is Jane reading the, the book or she will read it in the future? What is the sentence idea? She's not reading already, but she will do. Yeah, okay, yeah, uh-huh. Maybe she is reading already, but uh, she will finish uh, uh, read it this year. Okay, so the next uh, the next one, uh, Oscar, uh, if, um, could you read the next example? Sure, no problem. Uh, it will be hard, but she's determined to do it. Okay, it will be hard, but she's determined to her. Why it says that it will be hard? So it refers to, it, it has a connection with the first statement. What is, uh, why is it will be hard? But she is really determined to do it. Uh-huh, someone that wants, would like to participate? The book, War and Peace, will be hard. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, oh, the, for a, uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. the year. Okay. The year <laughs> yeah, maybe it's not an easy book. It depending on the level of the vocabulary and the context and a lot of things. For example, me right now I'm reading the last of the Mohicans or, or the Moican or the Moicanos. It's uh, the level is really high. It's very big, uh, more than almost 600 pages. 
Um, so it's it's hard, especially if you're keeping busy, but I'm determined to read the, the book. Uh, so that's the same thing. So this year I will read uh, The Last of the Mohicans. Okay. And uh, good. Thank you. Um, more examples, a little bit more. Uh, the next one says, Jorge, what is this, the next one? I will learn a new language. Are you sure that you uh, will learn a new language? Jorge? Yes. Yes, of course, of course. I will learn a new language. So you already have learned uh, English, but you will... Uh, you, uh, you're uh, studying because you want to increase your level of English. I will have. So uh, the next one, uh, let's see. Uh, Sarah, Elisa, the next one. What is it? Yen will read that book. Ah, that's, this is the big example. I forgot. It's connected with the first sentence. Okay. But uh, Jane will read that book for sure. Okay. Uh, we notice on the second ex uh, example that she's determined uh, to do it. Uh -huh, Giovanni? Yeah, I just want to uh, do it something in addition about it. Yes, mm -hmm. I remember that once I was told that we are going to talk about uh, things that will be like that way. And we're 100% sure that we're going to do. We're going to use uh, going to, right? Instead yes. of will. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh uh -huh, exactly. Uh, this one is, uh, the thing is going to is, uh, is referring to a short period, if I'm not mistaken, but they are almost the same. So not, not mm -hmm. a big deal with that one. But uh, uh, yes, uh, what you say is true. Okay. okay. Uh -huh, you can say she's going to read that book. Okay. And uh, so it's, it's, there is uh, something uh not a big uh there is a uh almost the same similarities on on the on the on the will i'm going to okay the next one and uh uh jenny the next sentence what is it my brothers my brothers will sleep till noon if no one wakes them up uh-huh till noon it means until okay until. Hasta. yeah but are you we say till uh, uh my brothers will sleep until if no one if no one wakes them up right so that's that's uh, for sure and another and another example is uh Xiomara violeta uh, uh very simple Uh, so, sorry, uh -huh. no, my no, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you will see what I mean. I will see what I mean. I say something and you say what? Ah, you will see later what I what I meant. Okay, what I meant. Okay, this is a kind of expression and I think uh, it's very important, Sophia Elizabeth. What is important? Sophia? Okay, uh, it doesn't matter if the subject is singular or plural, the formula for the simple future doesn't change. It doesn't change. What are the singular uh, subjects? Just just reminding, what are the singular subjects? Anybody? I. I yes, I. You. You, you singular. Okay, yeah, uh -huh. uh, I, you, he, she, it. Those are the singular. Yes, and you, and you remember can be singular and plural. And what are the yeah. plurals? And what are the plural ones? You, we, and they. Uh -huh. You, we, and they. Those are the plural. And so it doesn't matter, you see, we have subject, will, uh, plus verb, plus the rest. Okay, mm -hmm. so for example, um, Tomorrow morning, I will check out my email. I will check my email, okay? Uh, in the mm -hmm. afternoon, I will go to my school, okay? In the evening, I will come back at six o'clock, then I will have dinner, 
and then we'll I uh, we will watch a movie. Okay, so it's uh, it's uh, talk about uh, these uh, examples are more personalized. Okay, so <clears throat> tell me in one minute. Please uh, or just open the mic and, and tell me a sentence or, this, or something that you're going to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, go ahead. Tomorrow, I will, work. I, I will go to work. <laughs> uh, you will go to work, yes. Uh, you can say that, you can say the time, for example. Uh, you can, oh, by the way, time expressions, you can use it at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. For example, you say, at eight o'clock in the morning, I will go to work. Or you can say, I will go to work at eight o'clock in the morning, okay? Uh -huh. uh, someone else? Something that you're going to say, guys? Participate. I will, I will uh, go out to take a dinner after work tomorrow. Okay, uh huh. Uh, so you will go out uh, to have dinner uh, tomorrow. Good, excellent. And someone else? I will cook my breakfast tomorrow. Uh, okay, in the morning, I will cook my breakfast. Good, thank you. Someone else? Two more participations, and we continue. Okay, within, uh, three, within three or four days, I will enroll to the next uh, course level uh, ah, English. Okay, bravo, fantastic. So you will enroll in the next level. Good, excellent. I hope to see you again. Okay, who else? One more and the last one. I will I will play soccer tomorrow in the afternoon. Lucky you that you had time to play soccer. <laughs> There is long time yeah. <laughs> that I haven't played soccer anymore. <laughs> since I, since uh, since I moved from my little cantoncito to San Salvador. <laughs> okay, guys. So uh, I don't continue. I will not continue talking about that, or you. Otherwise, you will see me crying. <laughs> okay. Um. Eh, you know, all my students know about my little cantoncito. And it's an expression that I use. My, oh, I'm a little cantoncito. Okay, future ten, future continues. What is the future continues? Uh, let's see, uh, someone, um, uh, Jenny, I guess you, uh, Jenny, could you please, Carolina? Uh, we we use we use the future continuous to refer to temporary uh -huh. actions and events that will be in progress at the particular time in the future. Okay, so the action is not happening right now, right? Because, for example, us we are uh, we are uh, studying English. Uh, but it is very close. They, they have very close relation with the present present continuous and activity right now. So, for example, we say, uh, uh, let's see, uh, so, uh, Catherine Lisbeth, could you please read the example over there? Mm, yes, teacher. Um, at this time next week. I will be taking photo photograph, photograph with my new camera. Oh, so at this time next week, I will be taking photograph with my new camera. Can I say I'll be taking photograph with my new camera at this time next week? Can I say that? According to Giovanni saying yes. Yes, that's what I just mentioned. Time expression yes, in either, either the uh, form, simple past, a simple present, a present continuous, a future, it, it can be, they can be at the beginning or at the end, and they do not change the meaning of the sentence. Okay, uh, the next one, uh, Jose is driving. Uh, uh, 
Carla Selena, could you uh, help us read in the next one? Carla Selena, the next uh, example. Maybe she has problem with the mic. Yes, Francisco. I want to participate. Okay, time. okay, good, Francisco. Could you please read that? Yeah, mm -hmm. try to call before eight o'clock. After that, we'll be watching the game. Okay, so what it means that you will answer the phone or you will not, or you won't answer the phone after eight o'clock. <clears throat> What, what does that mean? That you will answer still after eight o'clock or you won't answer the phone? Won't answer the phone. You won't answer the phone, okay? Like like uh, Francisco said, uh, try to call before eight, okay? After yeah. that, we'll be watching, okay? Uh, uh, I, say, I tell my neighbor, uh, please uh, let me know before eight, before eight. After that, I'll be teaching English. Okay, so that's that's the same. Another example. Can I hear teacher? Sure, go ahead. This week they will be flying to Australia from Saudi Arabia. Okay, remember that is an action that is not happening at uh, at the moment. It's, it will be later on. Okay, good, excellent. I think there are another. And the uh, and the next one is uh, who wants Melissa Stephanie? Could you please read that one? Mel Melissa, Marlene Elizabeth, are you there? <laughs> Yes, teacher. Okay, could you read the example? She? She will not be working on Tuesday. Okay, good. And what will be the contraction using the contracted form? Anybody? She wouldn't. She won't be. She won't be working on Tuesday. She won't be. She won't be. Well, um, and uh, remember that the contracted is will not want, okay? And uh, and you can contract the subject as well. There there are two ways that you can uh, that you can say uh, this one. You can contract the subject with will and leave not alone. Like she'll not be working on Thursday. Perfect English, good English. Or you say you won't. Uh, she won't be working on Tuesday. Either way will be perfect. Or like it is which is the, the complete form. She will not be working on Tuesday. That's very good English. The only thing that experts nowadays say that uh, when you use contractions, you look, uh, you sound more natural. Okay. Okay, so, and I think, I, who wants to read this one? Hector, would you like to read that one? Hector, are you there? Uh, who wants to read that one, please? Raise your hands, okay? Uh, can I can I read it? Sure, sure. Unfortunately, we won't be attending the wedding. The wedding, okay? The it could be the party or the ceremony, okay? So um, because by any reason, okay? I think okay. Um, Think in a sentence or something that you will do in uh, from this uh, from tomorrow on, and 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 participate. Say your sentences to to everybody. Just one. I would like to have like uh, six or seven participation or more if we do it quickly. Uh huh. Just, just one question. Yes. About about the second second one. Okay. The question is, I mean, is is it something missing in the middle of, let's say, right after eight o'clock? 
what about if you if you uh, add on uh, because after that we'll be watching is, is that correct or yeah it's, it's no. not it's not necessary it will be, it, it will be correct uh, try to call before eight o'clock uh, because we will be watching the game mm -hmm. okay and, yes, and yes. another question yes about the, let's say the, the one uh, she will not be working is that the contraction she'll not be working frequently used as, uh, uh, as, as, as the one that uh, used the American? Ah, uh, no, that's that's what I said. We can use the three forms. One way is the full form, which is she will not be working on Thurs on Tuesday. The other form is she will, she'll, I'm sorry, she'll not be working. Okay, and the other is she won't be working, which is easier than the the second one. Oh, uh -huh, but the three is are correct. The three okay. are correct. Mm -hmm. The three okay. are correct. Uh, it, it's up to you which one you want to say. Hey, Mr. Lopez, uh, I'll not be working tomorrow, or I'll not be taking the uh, class tomorrow attending the class tomorrow. Or you can say, hey, Mr. Lopez, I won't be able to take the, uh, to attend classes tomorrow. Either way, it's up to you. OK. okay. Uh, who wants to, who would like to refer? What are you doing in a couple uh, from tomorrow on in a couple of days? I would like to have uh, six from five to seven participations at least but let's let's do it quickly uh-huh tomorrow at this time i will be having my dinner ah tomorrow this time you will be having dinner good excellent thank you Giovanni. uh someone else Come on, guys, don't be afraid. Um, in a couple of weeks, I will be in the next level, in level advanced, English advanced. Ah, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> good, excellent. In a couple of weeks, I'll be attending the next level. Mm -hmm. Okay, so good, excellent, excellent and uh, good commitment that's a commitment that you have like i say guys i hope to see you again and uh, another example me teacher yeah go ahead i will be buying at the supermarket on sunday i'll be buying at the supermarket uh on sunday or you can say i'll be getting the groceries on, on at the supermarket on Sunday. Either way, but the, the one that you say is correct. And just expressing that you can say uh, some uh, certain things in different ways. And that's perfect. And the same one. Quick question, uh, Mr. Lopez. Uh -huh. Just to make sure if I'm, uh, if I understood right, we're talking about groceries. Yes, when we're going to buy food, right? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, when you go to the supermarket and um, uh, buy the food. But what about if I'm going to go to the supermarket, but I'm going to, to buy something different? That would want to be groceries, right? No, I that guess. won't be groceries. <laughs> I, I'll, okay. be, I'll be buying certain items at the supermarket, mm -hmm. uh, or uh, more or less that you can say. Yeah, oh, the, the thing is that they have, the, uh, the in the United States, they have grocery store that they sell only like rice, uh, you know, grains, okay? And they have also the supermarket. But I, there is not a big difference between the grocery and the supermarket. <laughs> OK. Like a big difference in the United States is uh, like a drugstore and a pharmacy. That's a big difference, totally. OK. For example, uh, here in El Salvador, we don't have most of them are drugstore, no pharmacies. OK. Because a pharmacy is only medicine. In a drugstore, they you can buy toilet paper, candies, soap, uh, uh, shampoo, uh, toothpaste. You can buy different items. Okay, uh, no more questions on this one. So let's let's go with the other one. 
the future perfect. This is a, this is the way and I accept that I I approach not in the correct way. This and this one. Okay. So who wants to read that one? Who hasn't participated? And would like to read that one. The future Me perfect. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, uh, you, and she can help with the uh, with the examples. Uh -huh. Okay, the future perfect is a verb tense used for action that will be completed before some other point in the future. Ah, uh -huh. Here we went. Uh, miss, uh, I, I didn't see who was it, uh, the ladies. Could you read that example, Miss, please? Oops. No. Uh huh. If, where is the pronunciation of parade? Uh, parade? Parade. Uh, parade. The parade. Parade. Uh -huh. The parade will have ended. By the time Sophia gets out of bed at eight o'clock, I will have left. Uh huh. Will action? Which action will happen first? The parade will end, or Sophia gets out? Mm -hmm. Uh, look at the example. It says a verb tense used for action that will com be completed before some other point in the future. So, uh, there, in order not to take uh, the, the the action that ended first, uh, it was the parade. I mean, and then uh, so so you say the parade will end it by the time Sophia gets out of bed. Oh, by the way, Sophia is my 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 beautiful granddaughter <laughs> and uh, and uh, gets out of, of bed at 8 o'clock I will have left okay another I have, uh -huh. I have a question when, when it says uh, talking about the first one when it says at 8 o'clock I will have left that means that she will have left Right after the uh, the parade, uh, how ended? Ended, so how ended, and before Sophia gets out of bed. <laughs> yes, oh. right after the parade had ended, and uh, and oh. before Sophia gets. This is a, a general, but I don't try to um uh we're just because we're in class and, and your questions is okay in order to understand this one. But just when you produce the language, you speak it like. You know, in a natural way, and uh, we form. What is who would like to uh, help on that one? The instruction. We form. We form the future perfect tenses using will have we'll plus have. plus participle. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Will have plus participle. Another example. This is a real. This is real. This is about us, unfortunately. We will have finished the course by night, by tonight. Uh -huh. Night or five, night or five. Night okay. or uh -huh. five tonight. Yes. Uh, by the way, remember that I was saying that when we uh, dial telephone numbers, we say nine or uh, three, five, or, and then we can say zero. But I'm not in this case. Uh, we say 901, 902, 903, 905, 906, uh, 707, and so on. Okay, so we will have finished uh, this course by 905 to 9 or a little earlier. Okay, so that's, that's well. And the other example this is about a couple. Uh huh. Who wants? Who would like to read it? Hmm. <laughs> and father, you have been married for fifty years. Uh huh. Okay. On on nine October, 
will have been married for fixed year. You see, I have here, a question. We're, we'll have uh, using the contraction, yes? Is it a kid on 9 October or is it better on October 9? It's better on October 9. It's better on October 9. Um, okay. Yes, it's better. It but in both be forms are, are fine, right? I find, yes. Uh, okay. In both forms are fine. The thing is that it is more popular when you say on October 9 than um, this one. Okay. But uh, both forms are, are, are okay. And the next one. I will. Who wants to read that one? I will have been here for six months on June 23rd. Okay. Uh, good. And by the time? By the time you read, I will have left. Okay. By the time you read this, I will have left. Okay. Good. Or oh, you read uh -huh, this. Ah, you read this. And the last one. You will have finished your report by this time next week. Okay. Okay. Now, I would like you to give me some real examples about you. For example, me as Mr. Lopez. My car needs to be repaired. Okay. Definitely. We cannot continue with the car like that. So, uh, we will have fixed it our car by the first week of November, okay? We will have fixed it, our, uh, we will have fixed our car by the first week of November, okay? Um, can you give me an example of something that you really need over there? For example, another example, you know, I'm a teacher and I teach another school. So uh, by the end of the week, I will have uh, finished checking the student's exam. By November 4th, I will have turned in, regular verb, turned in the grades to the to the um, vice director or to the, the direction. Uh -huh. Can you give me an example, guys? My you... son, my son will finish his uh, school year mm -hmm. this uh, next month. Okay, good. So your son will have finished the school years by this month, okay? By the end of the month or whatever. Good. Excellent. Another? Can I say one? Can sure, I say? yes. Go, okay. go, Oscar. Be my guest. By uh, January, January 2024, uh, I will have had more fluency in, in the in English. Oh, yes. You will have more. What do you say? I said I, I will have had more fluency. Ah, yes, okay. Does it make sense? It, yes, it's understood. But I say, I will have, uh, I, say, uh, I will uh, have, uh, no, it doesn't sense. It, it, it makes sense. Yes. It, it makes uh, sense. I will be, I will have be more fluently oh. in the language. Bean, oh. bean, bean, bean. It's uh, better. Bean. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. right. But uh, the one that you say is it sounds n n okay. Okay, someone else, and we go to the other. Sure. Yes. Uh, I can. I can say. Can I say? Around two weeks, I will have taken a new a new course. Yes. Perfectly. Uh huh. And uh, in about two weeks, I will have taken and uh, the new course. Okay. But, but we can say around two weeks. 
Uh, yes, around two weeks, but not not starting. Okay, you uh, means you already finished the course. I will have taken the new course. Uh huh. Uh, no, being registered, it's okay. No, it's okay. It's perfect sentence. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, can, I'm sorry. Well, I can say, uh, tomar un examen para beca. Ah. Uh huh. How would you say that one? I I try to say tomorrow. I will I will take a new uh, test. Scholarship. Yes. Uh, test. In the, scholarship. In, in, the, in the simple uh, scholarship. Uh huh. In the simple tense, is is uh, great. Is uh, uh, tomorrow I will take a. Uh, a test for a scholarship, okay? Scholarship. Uh -huh. A scholars, a scholarship. That will be a beca. Scholarship. Uh -huh. scholarship. Scholarship. And that will be a beca. Or you say, using this form, you say, by the end of the day tomorrow, I will, I, 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 I will have say, taken a test. A test. Mm -hmm. a, a scholarship mm -hmm. test. A scholarship by, test. By, by study in the ITCA. Oh, ah, good. Yeah, good. But you, you're correct because of the first point that you use tomorrow, I will take a test or a scholarship. That's perfectly. Or by the end of the day, I will have taken a test for a scholarship at ICA. Okay, so that's good. So it's like I said before, it's a matter of practice. Now I think that I did my research. <laughs> I did my research over there. Ah, and the negative. Oh, I'm sorry. It has to be. It has to be. This one it shouldn't be a capital letter, right? If I do a test of and on one and any platform, it will take it as a wrong because I'm using a uppercase letter. So what is the negative? They won't. They uh -huh. won't have a right by by. By they won't have a right by pan means they will not be over there by that time. By a.m. or p.m. Um, uh, either way, five. Let's say p.m. Yes. <laughs> either way, let's say p.m. Okay, guys. I this one we already have gone so. Uh, we did this one yesterday, right? There were more like uh, different answers on it. Okay, and this one, yeah, what time is it? Let me see the time. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, this one, we're just going to listen and try to uh, take notes, but uh, I will not put the answers over there because I just want you to express, okay? So, uh, yes, Carla Rene? I have a question about mm -hmm. the three forms about will, using will. Mm -hmm. What of them is recommending to use when I, I am sure the event it occurs in a certain time? Uh, in that case, uh, uh, this one is uh, 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 trying to recall which one is uh, shorter, if it is going to or will. And I think, uh, Giovanni, can you help me over there? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, when you have a sentence that you're 100% sure that the event will happen in that way, it's going to. It's going to, exactly. But if it's probably, will. Mm -hmm. But the only thing that uh, going to is for a short period of time, right? Giovanni? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. If you're saying that something will happen probably at 8 p.m., mm -hmm. that won't be at 8 you know, 1. <laughs> that yeah. would be at 8. I'm sure that mm -hmm. I'm uh, bathing my puppy. So tomorrow at 7, I'm going to bath my puppy or wash whatever you want to say. Um, I got to go to Banco Agricola. Tomorrow, I'm going to Banco Agricola because I need to do something over there. That's for sure. Okay. And this one is a longer, uh, longer period of time. But people on the street, they use either way. So, but you know, uh, the, uh, in academic way, which one is longer and which one is shorter. Thank you, Giovanni. 
My pleasure. Okay. So, what's your question and answer? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Let's try to answer. Let's see, we have uh, just uh, future changes over there and work. Page 68, exercise 11, listening. A perfect future? Part A, listen to people discussing changes that will affect these areas in the next 50 years. Write down two changes for each topic. One work i will pause the audio and let's see what are the two changes for work work in the future well i think unemployment is going to keep getting worse i agree as companies get more efficient and more computerized they're finding ways of using less staff so i guess people will find it hard to get a good job unless they have excellent qualifications hmm yeah I think that's probably true. But I also think that because of computers, more and more people will be telecommuting instead of going into an office. Wow, I'd really love that. Can you imagine spending most of your work week in the comfort of your own home? Personally, I would get so much more done. And with email, instant messaging, and video conferencing, you can still keep in touch with everyone you need to. Well, I'd certainly enjoy it. But I don't know if I'd get more done or not. I'm afraid I might just turn on the TV and zone out. Okay, what are the two changes? If anyone get the... Uh, not the correct answer, the idea, let's say. What are the two changes for work? I guess our work and working. Uh-huh. Okay. But uh -huh. what I heard uh -huh. was that the company will be more uh, efficient and com computer computerized. So that one uh, that will require more uh, uh that will make them more demanding so that people uh uh will work from home. And let me, let me give you a, a, I don't know if it is a good news or a bad news. We already have changed that. We already have came out to that one after the pandemic, you know, before the pandemic, everything was in, uh, at, at the places. But now, so we start working like this way. So good, excellent, Oscar. Good, uh, good participation. Let's say the, the uh, let's see the other one. Two, transportation. As far as transportation is concerned, I think there are going to be huge changes in the way people use cars. They'll probably have made laws about what kind of car you can own and when you can use it. And I bet it'll be impossible for people to use cars whenever they like. There will just be too many of them on the roads. Exactly. People will have to rely on other modes of transportation, especially trains. Why do you say that? Well, we won't be able to use cars, and airports take up too much space. With the supply of land for airports shrinking around the world, there are going to be fewer airports and fewer plane flights. That leaves trains. Huh. So do you think there will be more efficient train systems between cities? Sure. There may even be trains going under the oceans to connect the major continents. Under the oceans? Get out of here. I get nervous enough flying on a plane. Okay, what are the changes to transportation? Uh-huh, what are the changes? Are there too many cars on the on the roll? So there are not too many. Uh huh. There are too many, uh, Giovanni and Jenny, and uh, the ones that I can see. They say too many. Uh, yes, Giovanni. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. In fact, uh, uh, yesterday we were watching on the news that they already started the viaducto. They already started, but 
you know, they have been building many roads and it's not good enough because of the, of the amount of the vehicles that we have in El Salvador right now. So I was telling my wife, well, they will have to decide as Mexico City. It, it depends on the plane number. You have to take out your car or you keep it in at home. So otherwise it will be difficult. But uh, there are many roads. Uh, they are mentioning trains. And if I'm not mistaken, they already mentioned a train uh, in downtown, something like that. But I, I will be uh, taking on. Imagine, uh, for example, <clears throat> I live in San Francisco, and when I every time I, I went to Oakland, the train goes under the water, the bar, uh, the bar. It goes under the water, and you know the pro And I asked once, what's happened if one of those things break it out and the water start getting into the city? And they say, no, you will be there, but not the people because they seal agglomerically if it that happen. If the train is on the tube, on the big pipe, it's a, no, it's a tube, it's a pipe, a big pipe over there, la tuberías. Uh, so you're unlucky. But the trains goes under the water <laughs> from San Francisco to Oakland. <laughs> so that's I'm that's. Unlucky. <laughs> yeah, and I asked my uh, my cousin's husband, I said, what happened if this break out? Well, they will seal it automatically and you will be there, but the water will, will not get into the city. <laughs> so it's, it's, well, there are always things. And in fact, they have they have tried to build a, a bridge from, the, how do you say, Estrecho de Veri? But the, the problem is that they cannot measure the the way of the icebergs and the and the iceberg will break down the 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 bridge so that's so scientists are trying to do many things okay um <clears throat> okay guys and uh well we just have a couple of minutes uh you have the, that one over there so please practice uh, try to answer uh, rephrase the the story in your own words Okay, what you hear over there, that help you a lot. Okay, some questions, and I would like uh, participations quickly. Uh, what would you think you'll be doing in five years from now? This is a question, if you go looking for a job, the person who interviewed will ask you. I was in that position and I always, uh, what would you be doing in five years? What do you think you will be doing in five years? Aha. Uh -huh. Tell me, who would like to participate? Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Okay, Hector. I think in five years, I will be doing something I wanna, I wanna do mm -hmm. for right now. Mm -hmm. For example, I, I, I would like to take a new job, change my job, and and I would like to uh, improve my skill English. Okay, good, excellent, your English skills, improve to your English, English skill. skill, okay. And if, if it's possible, I can, I, I can take a new career for me. Ah, okay, great, fantastic. Always be optimistic. And let me tell you a tip about these questions. If you go to an interview, a job interview, they will ask this question because it's part of the questions. Always say, well, if you give the opportunity to work over here, I see myself working with you guys. And that will, because every uh, not every people, uh, a lot of people said that, but a couple of people told me, ah, well, if you give me the opportunity, I'll see myself working with you and learning. And I said, oh, this guy definitely. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, there was uh, someone raised the hand. Yeah, I did it. Ah, Actually, okay. just it's been addition about to have an interview. Um, When we are in an interview, just for grammatically form, it's better to use the, the large form, like in, in this situation, going yeah. to, and not one, right? Just for formality uh, yes. form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, a so, piece of advice. Yes, thank you, Ivan. Very helpful. You know, I do not use wanna, uh, gonna, because that's not, uh, that's very informal. In fact, when I had teachers like they say, 
they say to the student, ah, I, I'm gonna. No, please, I'm going to, okay? So that's that's the way. Okay, and another, uh, who would like to participate? One more participation or two, quickly. Okay. Into five, into five, yes. Teacher. Yes, I, Ivan. I will be working on my own business in a store, selling food to the public, pizza, garlic bread, lasagna, um, oh. artisan ice cream. Oh, okay, so you see, you uh, it's my it's my dream. It's your dream, great. Keep keep on going. Don't give back, and use and uh, be optimistic about it. Thank you. Uh, Hello. Thank someone you. someone else was participate, or I I got another one. Within within five within the next five years, I think I'll be. Uh, I will have ended my uh, master's degree in, in finance at college. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Great. No, be, say I will have ended it. And you see, you're yes. using the form. You're using will in a, in a correct way. Okay, ladies. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh, who would like to participate, ladies? I'm, I'm going. In five years, I I wish uh, to change my work, and I I want I want to job in Iron Man, maybe in Iron ah, yeah. Man, or in uh, maybe in a call center because I need to to so much money. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, in, in this school, you already have the, the advantage because of the language. I had a student uh, at the end of the last year, she was working at Edelman, and I asked, why are you here? They said, well, they are demanding us now to speak English. So, uh-huh. Okay, uh, I think we just have like three or four minutes. What are the three things you will have done within the five years, uh, the next five years? Uh, just mention then like I will have done this, this, and that. And okay, who would like to participate? Do I need your microphone? <laughs> I'm still thinking. <laughs> it's just thinking. Well, you're younger than than uh, you. Uh, most of you are younger than I am, so you have uh, many things to do. Me right now, I just can think uh, doing my best for my job. Okay, I will have uh, kept my best uh, every time that I teach. And you know what? I I am the time of teacher who uh, recognize when I'm to not do the things in a very good way. Like the class yesterday, I told my wife, I am not satisfied with that class. And it happened like two years ago, and I said, what are you doing? Uh, well, I'm preparing the class again because I, I was not satisfied with my class and my students neither. <laughs> so, and, this, and the second time, the students were like, okay. So, uh -huh. what about, uh -huh. tell me. Or I have another one. Maybe this one is, is uh, easier. This I came now from the questions you have on the material, but I choose the most suitable for. In what ways do you think you have changed by the time you retire? Don't I think tell. This is the, most the most difficult. <laughs> <laughs> but don't tell me that you would be older. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. Why, Xiomara? Why is uh more uh, the most difficult? Because I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. I only only want and and wish that I get older with health uh, healthy. <laughs> ah, okay, good. So keeping in a good way, in a good shape, um, uh, trying to eat healthy. I mean, um, uh, uh, keeping that. Soon. But uh, um, for uh, for example, me, I, 
believe that I became more mature about it, you know, since I yeah. got responsibility, so I became more mature. But also my job, I tried to do my best. You know, when I was younger, I was very anxious. I, I explode with anything. Right now, uh, and my wife said, you're so patient. And no, no, I mean, what I get it, I start uh, being like crazy, you know, but um, okay. Okay, guys, let me just uh, take your attendance over there. And um, the last thing that we, it, I advise you to do also is this one, okay? Read it uh, in a loud voice and uh, watch the audios, try to do the, the, the answer, so. This one is uh, very much uh, very close from the things that we were doing. For example, the term global village implies that people around around the world that is miss that is not the correct answer because it's repeating the same thing, and I got it from the teacher's guy. Well, but you you will get the the correct answers over there. Just let me. Uh, sure. can yes. You, can, can you make sure to share? To share with us the audios uh, about the areas that uh, will suffer some changes within the next five years. Uh, I, I, it's, it, I just need to to, to listen uh, to practice the listening uh, part. From 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 this uh, from this. Uh, I mean the you, one that we just the, the one that the one I sh that we I share it I share it uh, all the audios, but I will I will do it again. Okay. Oh, okay. I, okay. I sent them in WhatsApp. Did everybody got it? I okay. sent like four or no five. Uh, I okay. I share all of them from oh, the unit. Oh, all of all of it. All right. Mm -hmm. no problem. Oh. Okay. Cool. okay, but I, I if you want me I can do it again. Yeah, uh, Ana Ivania. Ana Ivania. Present, Present teacher. Okay, uh, Daniel Alejandro. Daniel Alejandro Yanes. Eh, Eduardo José Melgar. I'm here, teacher. Eh, Francisco Antonio Calderón. Present, Mr. Gabriel José Hernández. Gabriel. Gabriel José Hernández. Giovanni Stanley. Ah, OK. Thank you, Gabriel. Um, OK, Héctor Iván Pérez. Presente, eh, Iván, Iván Abraín Ramírez. Presente, chair. Eh, Jorge Alberto Rivera. Presente, chair. Eh, José Lino Alvarenga. Oh, here, teacher. Eh, Julio César Campos. Presente, chair. Eh, Carla Selena Hernández. Presente, chair. Eh, Carla René Delgado. Presente, chair. Catarin Lisbeth Espinosa. Present teacher. Eh, Luis Eduardo Méndez. Luis, Luis Eduardo. Marlene Elizabeth Valle. Present teacher. Melissa Stephanie Linares. Present teacher. Eh, Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán. Present teacher. Eh, Netali Antonio Mejía. Present teacher. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Present, teacher. Abdulio, Oscar Abdulio Amador Cordero. Present. Eh, Romeo Vladimir Rosales Alvarado. Romeo. Present, teacher. Sara Elizabeth Bellos Hernández. Present. Sofía Elizabeth Pérez Torres. Present. Eh, Wendy Paola López Martínez. Wendy, Xiomara Violeta Salazar. Present. And Jenny Carolina Ardón Cruz. Present, teacher. Okay, guys, I really thank you very much. I really enjoy um, uh, working with you. I hope that I can see you again, okay? So I guess people will send you the diplomas for this course and I hope that you did it well and the classes were helpful for you to uh, you perform your tasks over there on platform. Thank you and then God Thank bless you. you. Thank you for everything. Bye-bye. Blessings. Bye.
Bye bye. See you soon, guys. Bye. See you soon. Thank you. See you soon, guys. Bye bye. Thanks.